Now, before you get absolutely triggered at me and just press the dislike button for literally no reason, please, for the love of God, hear me out. Even though I know most of you won't, this video is going to be a bit rambly and a bit, like, out of my normal character because, A, I would have... Ugh. A, I don't have a script. B, I'm tired because it's really late at night and I'm going to have to throw this together really quickly. And I would have done this hours ago, but unfortunately, right after I watched the direct, life kind of got in the way and I had to do some things. So now I kind of have to do this now while the the discussion's still going, even though it's probably going to be going for a while, considering how big the announcement was. But uh, that's neither here or there. Get a little closer to the mic so you guys can hear me a little more. Well, the Direct overall, I'd say, was pretty solid, although there was a lot of Switch stuff that I wasn't really interested in. The 3DS announcements really got me, and I'm glad they're giving the 3DS more love, even though the Switch is new and a hot commodity. They aren't forgetting about the 3DS. They're throwing some premiere titles in there, like Bowser's Inside Story Remake. That I'm really excited for. That was the best thing in the Direct, in my opinion. And the remake of Luigi's Mansion. Oh, but it should be on Switch. Uh, you forget the 3DS exists and it needs games too. They have sacrifices have to be made, you know? We can't have everything on Switch. Really. How would you feel if they ported like or maybe not whatever. That's not the main point of the video. I don't want to get too in the detail of stuff like that. This almost ruined the direct for me. Almost. Like, it was so close. Smash Brothers 5. Jesus Christ, Nintendo. How low can you stoop? Oh my god. Most of you probably are not going to understand why I hate that Nintendo did this. And why I hate so far why Smash 5 is, like, a thing right now. You are not going to understand the context. I'm going to try my best to explain it to you. I have two main points that I want to give. One is not really so confirmed for me right now, and the other is pretty damn confirmed for me right now. So we're going to start with the one that isn't as confirmed, even though it is the biggest reason for me. Simply because, well, we don't know what the deal is yet. Shut up. Thanks. No editing that out because I don't have a good editor right now. I'm kind of stuck on a dingy laptop. I should probably mute it actually so that doesn't happen again. There we go. Anyway, sorry about that. Can't really edit this down too much, but... The first reason, the biggest reason, but the reason that's not so much confirmed... I remember, and please, please correct me if I'm wrong on this. I remember Sakurai, the creator of Smash Brothers, for those who don't know, he created like... Kirby and a bunch of other franchises, How Laboratory, that big spiel. He basically is the father of Smash Brothers. I remember him saying after Smash, he made Smash 4, game development is a long, tedious process, and while it's a fun process, it tears your life apart. He said something along those lines. And he also said something along the lines of he wanted Smash 4 to be, like, the definitive Smash Brothers experience and to maybe, this one I'm not sure of, maybe be his last Smash Brothers game that he works on. He wanted the series to kind of end right there because he felt that I think that was, like, the definitive Smash. And I agreed with him. Smash 4 is my favorite Smash Brothers game. It's just so much damn fun. Uh, I have a gaming club unrelated at my school and every week when we have the wii u we just pop that in and have 30 minutes of good old fun <laughs> i wreck everyone with ganondorf you know fun times fun times but well as you can see from this announcement sakurai's wishes <sighs> what? <sighs> dead good as dead god damn it and you know, the simple fact that this was even conceived for the Switch, even thought to be made, even despite Sakurai's wishes of Smash 4 being 
the definitive last version. I'm sorry if I pronounced Sakurai like 15 different times. I'm tired, like I said before. It just seems wrong. It just seems absolutely wrong to do that. Like, another unrelated one that I'm sure most people don't care about, and frankly, I don't really care that much, but it's still a point I have to give up. This is the Wii U's last saving grace. This is the Wii U's last shred of relevancy before Nintendo shoots it dead. Once Smash 5 releases, you can just take that Wii U, put it on a put it on a flat surface, and just smash it with a sledgehammer for all Nintendo cares, because that's going to be the end of the Switch. Or not the Switch, that's going to be the end of the Wii U. Because the Smash 4 is pretty much the only thing people go back to it for. And now with Smash 5 coming out, who needs a, who needs a Wii U? Let's buy a Switch. <laughs> Nintendo, you're killing me here. So yeah, um, the making and creation of Smash 5 is basically a dick move because Sakurai's wishes, he wanted Smash 4 to be definitive, he wanted it to be the last in the series. And God knows if he's directing this one, because if he's directing Smash 5, that would be an even more of a dick move to make for me, in my opinion, because he wanted the series to end, and to make him direct something he doesn't even want to make is a... It's not, it's not a good thought. It's, it's actually a terrifying thought that almost brings on torture. Yeah, thanks, Nintendo. But, uh, that's one of the more important reasons why I'm pissed about Smash 5 is because it shouldn't even exist to begin with if Nintendo knew how to listen to their directors. But I guess money talks more than the directors do, and the money's wishes aren't the director's wishes, so who needs them? Uh... And the second reason, the one that I think is the most important, although that one was pretty damn important now that I think about it, but still, the second reason and the one I was really thinking of, and a YouTuber by the name of Mr. Awesome, some of you may have already seen his video, it's pretty popular currently, it's gonna be raking up the views I'm sure soon enough, but... He's, I, this is pretty much his point. I'm not going to take credit for this point because he, because he made it and it's actually a pretty free fucking good point. You know what I mean? It's too soon, Nintendo. It is just too soon to be announcing this. Too soon for this game to be made. Too soon for like everything about this game to, to me. Not only announcing it, but just the creation of it. We're going to start with the announcement. If they were going to announce something as big as Smash 5, they should have, and Mr. Awesome said this too, they should have waited until E3. Like, wouldn't wouldn't this be something to open E3 with? Something major that, like, pushes Nintendo to the front of people's minds right away? Why did they waste a teaser as tantalizing as Inkling and Smash 5 announcing both a new game and a new character. Why would they waste that on a plain old Direct? That doesn't make any sense to me. None. That's a minor point, but still a bit of a gripe. They practically wasted the announcement. Why didn't they wait? That's my thoughts on that point. And now for the actual game itself, as I, as I very kind of briefly mentioned before, the community for Wii U is still alive. It's still kicking. I mean, I get the jump between Brawl and Smash 4 because Brawl's online system suck dick. There was no way anyone was going to get online on that, especially with the re prevalence of hackers, how easy it was to homebrew and mod a Wii. It, was, it made sense to refine the online system there. But Smash 4? What's wrong with Smash 4? No, no, go ahead, tell me. What's, what's wrong with Smash 4 that makes it so that we need a Smash 5? Go on, shout your reasons at the screen. Dad, tell them to me. Because I bet there is literally almost, I will give you a few reasons that some people may be able to come up with that I will agree with. But for most people, I doubt it. 
I doubt that there is a reason that this game absolutely needed to exist besides just having a Smash Brothers game for the Switch, which... No. We don't need it. And that's, that's my point. We don't need a Smash Brothers for Nintendo Switch. Do you want to know why we don't need a Smash Brothers for Nintendo Switch? Because Smash 4 perfectly slots in the role of being both a game you can play at home and a game you can play on a handheld. 3DS version was made for a reason. Why they would just completely throw the Wii, both the Wii U and the 3DS version under the bus just so they can make more Switch sales is beyond me. And for those of you saying, well, we need, Switch needs a Smash Brothers game in order to sell. Do you forget that the Switch, how much the Switch sold in the first year? Nintendo themselves. <clears throat> Give me a minute. When I ramble for long periods of time without breathing, it kind of affects me a bit. But, uh, do you remember what Nintendo said about how much the Switch sold? Nintendo themselves said that the Nintendo Switch was one of their best-selling consoles of all time. You cannot tell me that Nintendo needed to make a Smash Brothers for a Nintendo Switch in order for that bitch to sell. Because, believe me... They didn't need a Smash Brothers. They don't need a Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers needed to stop at Smash 4 for Nintendo Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. There is no need for this. There is no point for this. There was literally no reason for this game to have been made besides making more sales for the Nintendo Switch. Sakurai said himself that he did not want any more games in his franchise. He wanted it to stop at Smash 4, and this is my theory. Nintendo said no, you're going to keep making Smash Brothers games because we need the Nintendo Switch to sell more units. Smash Brothers is made purely for the reason of it needing to sell Nintendo Switch units. And because of this, there's also the chance that it will be rushed and or, like, burn, the series will get burnt out because Nintendo, once again, needs to sell Nintendo Switches. That's my theory on this whole shabakle. Why else would you make a Smash 5 when Smash 4 was perfectly workable as both a console game and a handheld game? I'm fucking pissed right now. And I would be yelling if it wasn't almost 12.30 at night. At least that's what I'm getting when I look at this clock. But I think I've rambled on for long enough. I think you guys can take my thoughts and put them into words. And by words, I mean you're going to shout hate comments at me because it's just my opinion. And no one seems to get that my opinion is my opinion and it doesn't hurt anything. And it's just my opinion. And <sighs> I needed to get my thoughts out there. And if you agree or disagree with my thoughts, I know I'm a bit, like, hostile towards Nintendo right now. I'm just kind of really pissed at them for doing this right now. I understand. I understand if you disagree with my points, and I understand if you think I'm being a bit of a dick for putting it in the way I'm putting it. It's just my opinion, though. If you try to shout at me in the comments just because it's my opinion, I will laugh at you. Simple as that. If any 12-year-olds try to come into my comments section and act all high and mighty just because I diss their precious new Smash for Nintendo Switch, I'm going to laugh you out of the room. I'm going to make fun of you. It's just the way I am. There's your warning. Don't fucking do it. Okay? We good? If you got, if you want to disagree with me, be constructive about it. Don't just yell at me. I think that's all I wanted to say. If I want to say anything else, I'll probably either put it in the description or put it in a pinned comment. Probably a pinned comment, because that's where most people are probably going to go at the end of this video. And yeah, this has been Supersonic1014. I hope you enjoyed my rambling. Don't be too pissed at me for this opinion. And I'll see you whenever I see you, whether it be you on my channel or you just browsing the YouTubes for Smash 5 content. I will see you whenever I see you. Goodbye.